Welcome to another episode of Reyes Power International. Today's video is overcoming anabolic resistance. Now what is anabolic resistance? It is the loss of skeletal muscle tissue caused by a sedentary lifestyle, aging, obesity, or disease. Simply stated, anabolic resistance occurs when eating a measured amount of protein does not produce the expected degree of protein synthesis. It is the same mechanism responsible for the lack of muscle hypertrophy in hard gainers. Individuals who experience anabolic resistance may also experience insulin resistance, systemic inflammation, decreased satellite cells. Now satellite cells act as a reserve population of cells able to proliferate in response to injury and give rise to regenerated muscle and to more satellite cells. Now individuals who experience anabolic resistance may also experience a decreased capillary density, less efficient nervous system, and a reduction in anabolic hormone secretion. Now some scientists insist that insulin resistance is the cause of anabolic resistance. So how does one solve the problem of insulin resistance? Well there are a number of steps to be taken. Firstly a protein intake of 1.2 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day and focusing on becoming insulin sensitive have been deemed fundamental to maintain a proper anabolic response. Now to become insulin sensitive you need to avoid refined carbs and sugar, get a full night's sleep, exercise, resistance training. That moves sugar out of the bloodstream and into the muscles where it is stored. You want to reduce stress. Stress hormones increase blood sugar. You want to lose your belly fat. Belly fat manufactures hormones that promote insulin resistance in the muscles and liver. You want to eat more soluble fiber. Soluble fiber feeds the good bacteria in your gut which have been linked to increased insulin sensitivity. You want to eat fruits and vegetables. They too increase insulin sensitivity. And you want to avoid trans fats. You also want to consume things like green tea, garlic, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, and apple cider vinegar. These all help increase insulin sensitivity. Now I just stated that you need to ingest 1.2 to 2.2 grams of protein per day per kilogram of body weight in order to overcome anabolic resistance. Now, what's the best diet through which to do that? The one I've always talked about on this channel, the multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet. And why is that? Because it allows you to gain lean muscle tissue and regulate how much you gain through how many calories you ingest in this diet. Now the diet itself consists of eating two starchy carbohydrates, simple carbs, two fibrous carbohydrate, complex carbs, and four ounces of a lean protein. The complex carbs and the lean protein slow digestion. Now you're going to eat every three hours. After you eat, your insulin response stops after three hours. So if you eat every three hours, you've got a steady insulin release and insulin is what? It's anabolic. It supplies amino acids to the muscle cells and this is what's going to overcome coupled with intense training anabolic resistance. This is the diet that a woman uses when she wants to lose body fat. She's got to gain a little uh, lean muscle tissue because muscle burns fat. It's the diet that the aged person will use who is anabolic resistant to gain that loss of muscle tissue back. It's the diet that a professional bodybuilder is going to use to gain a lot 
of lean muscle tissue. The only difference between these people is the amount of calories they're going to ingest through this diet on a daily basis. But this is the best way, the best diet, coupled with these other things that you need to do, this is the best diet to overcome anabolic resistance.